In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can add an extra icon in Divi if you prefer to use the default header that they have. Hey guys, so I temporarily update my secondary menu for you to see how you can add a custom social account or even just a simple image into your into your secondary menu without using the DV theme page builder stuff, I believe, because DV has its new feature. Yeah, it's called DV theme builder. Okay, so if you're not using a global header for your themes and you just prefer to use this default um, header from DV, and you want to add something in this and you want to add other social icons or even images is fine. So let's just pretend that you want to add a TikTok icon in here, which was a new social account. And I believe it's not yet available on DV lease for it's not yet available as a social lease on DV. So I'm going to teach you how we can add those or even overwrite this, um, what do you call that, this images in here. Okay. So the first one is we need to have a child theme because we need to copy a, a PHP file into the child theme. So our changes won't be lost every time Divi is updating. So you need to have a child theme. And then I also suggest that you install a WP file manager. So this is only temporarily temporary because um, we will be transferring files. So if you don't want to copy to open or access your FTP or file manager, then using the WP file manager would be an easy approach. So uh, once you already have that, you have the child theme, you have the WP file manager, we can then go to the WP file manager and then you go to your parent theme, which is DV, your parent theme, and then look for the includes folder and copy this file called social underscore icons dot php so we need to copy that and then go back to our child theme and then i'm going to create a folder called include so basically we are um we are duplicating or copying the path from the parent going to the child theme so um double click that and then we paste it uh, once we already have the PHP icons in the includes folder, we can then go to the um, appearance and then theme editor. And then you go to the um, includes and then social icons. So basically, DV leaves all of the social icons that are currently um, like. So if you notice this in every section, in every LI, there is, so let's start first with the uh, UL. So UL is the parent theme. So that is a parent um, inline style. And then there is a corresponding LI, LI on it. So these are the social icons. And if you notice in here, there is an opening PHP with an if statement and a closing statement because when you go here in the theme options, um, like you have like an ability to enable and disable the social icon. So it's basically saying in here that if the um, option is turned on, that's the only time that the icons or this one will be, wait a minute, where is my, let me just open that. So what basically means is once it is turned on, then that's the time that these icons will be triggered. Now, what if you want to add TikTok, which is not available on the theme options in DB? So to do that, simply go into the last part of the style. So remember this one. This is an opening PHP and this is the closing PHP. And just leave that as is. Like, just leave this as is. This is just kind of like a logical functions. I forgot about that. It should be. This is the opening and this is the closing, another PHP um, declaration for the RSS. 
and then this is the li. Now we need to put that before, af after rather, into the end if statement of, of this RSSV. Now I'm going to grab this PHP theme over here that um, technical support from Elegant Themes provided. So you put it there and then we paste it. Okay, so click the update file and let's try to refresh that file. And as you can see here, there is a new MySpace icon added into your header. Now, our goal is we want to use a TikTok icon. So how we can do that? We can also use a PNG, but I highly discourage to use PNG because it is pixelized. It might be blurry on higher resolution and it can also give you a warning on the lighthouse so instead of using png we will be using a svg from font awesome so you need to get this file this um script this cdn from font awesome and put it on your um dv theme options and the um integration you put it in here and by the way, guys, if you are not lazy, I would suggest that you create a, uh, you put all of your styles into your custom header that PHP because this one will, um, will cause a render blocking issue. So yeah, I, I need to fix this one. I need to clean my website. It can give you a lighthouse error because Apple give you a notice about the render blocking but for for the alternative this cross origin anonymous and using a a, a sync like this one instead why don't i put an async in here let me just put an async here so that can solve the problem by the way but yeah let me just copy that way and then save and then let's dive into the social.php again and I will go to the font awesome and look for the TikTok icon. So type in TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. So you copy that one. How can I pronounce TikTok? TikTok. So you copy that. And then you need to get the... Um, wait a minute. My internet connection is a bit slow. So yeah, you need to get this one this HTML, you copy that, and then instead of, again, putting the AMG, you can use the um, the, T, the HTML from Font Awesome. And then I'm going to replace this one with a so-called TikTok. And then I'm going to remove this other social um, classes there because that is for the MySpace. So update that one. And let's try to save that. So as you can see here, like the TikTok is already there, but it's too big. So you need to overwrite that again. Click that. And then I will add this pub thing. It should be just 15. Yeah, I think 15. So we copy that. And then I um, will put that back to the theme options or go to the styles of CSS um, yeah, to make your to avoid render blocking issue stuff. So you need to put that in your style.css under um, child theme. But again, I'm lazy, so let's just keep that away for now and save it as HTML. And let's do this, let's refresh. So right now they are already, they already have similar sizes. So that how it, so that's really how it works, guys. I will put an article version for that in case there is an update or easiest way for you to um, override and add custom CSS into the default secondary menu and DV. Hope that helps and let me know if you have any suggestion that you want me to cover in my next video. Have a great day. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the.